Oh, Capricorn, what's up? Welcome to Black Madonna HP's Table Etiquettes. And Cap, <laughs> who who got you twisted? When I was getting your energy, I heard that song. Um, you got me twisted over you, girl. You got me twisted over you. I know I, I got what you need, my... Well, he used to sing like that, y'all. And what you wanna do? <laughs> Either way, Cap, let's go ahead and bust into this energy. See, bust. I don't talk like that, so that must be your person energy coming through. But um, let's go ahead and tap into this energy and see what's going on for you and your person, Capricorn. What's going on with Capricorn and their person? What does Capricorn need to know? Somebody got is twisted over you. What did that song even mean? Twisted. Either way, let's see what's up. So you got freedom, growth, nurture, creativity, manifest, celebrations and social occasions. Flying and falling, social exams, flow, and empowerment. Oh, and that's what happened. You took your power back. Now this person don't know how to act. This person could be a rapper for me to just rhyme like that. I'm still rhyming. That's crazy. But, um... But, um, yeah, you, you took your power back with this empowerment card. If you look at this empowerment card, there's a person in the background. they in full-fledged armor trying to come back towards this person that got that sword out. That means you done playing games with this person. But I think you'll you'll be kind enough to hear them out. But I think you done over with the games. It seems like whatever happened, you let this situation go. For at least a moment, not forever, but it seemed like you let it go for a moment because it held, it had you like feeling like, really? You felt imprisoned in this relationship with this person? Something about um the energy with this person, I feel like a trapped type energy, like a I can't breathe type energy. Like you needed time, I feel like, to find yourself to to heal, to to rejuvenate, to find who you were again. I feel like you've spent so much time in this relationship or so much time nurturing this person in the relationship that you have forgot about yourself and being there for yourself and stop being there for everyone else. But it seemed like you've taken the time out to try and rediscover who you are as an individual and try to get your yourself back. If, if if that makes sense to you it's like um a re reinvention of yourself is what i'm getting like you may had um um like came out the situation at first you could have been hurt you could have been distraught or something but it seems like what i'm getting is like now is a time where you're doing you where you are feeling like like free you're feeling like i don't know free i don't know how else to describe this energy something about it is like i've never felt this way in my life <laughs> i don't want to say this person was a burden but the energy was a burden like it was constantly pulling you down it could have been you know the households the kids the duties the um the the constant arguments the fights the it was just a constant pull just a drag and it's like something about it just freed you i feel like you learned a lot in this relationship like you learned like not ever to give up yourself like you were given like i feel like you were given so much of yourself and the person was given the minimum but something about your energy is is like an energy of okay i went through the motions and now i'm free now do i want to put myself back in that situation yes i love this person yes this was the one i thought i would be with but do do i want to go back into that why am i getting torture 
You know how you constantly try to make something work and it doesn't work no matter how hard you try, how much energy you put into it, how much you change yourself, how much you change your looks, how much you change the way you react. You know, like, I feel like a person is here that tried everything they could to make someone happy and your best wasn't good enough but what I'm getting is now that you've been gone for a while and now that you've had like time to get yourself back and your energy has shifted and they may no longer be pulling on your energy like they once was here they has come okay but they're coming back knowing that you've kind of grown from the situation and they know they can't come back the way they was so how they're coming back is they're coming back very guarded though it's like it's like um testing your temperature type energy trying to see where your head at where your mind at if they can still pull the same tricks the um i don't know i'm hearing bedazzle i don't know if they used to buy you jewelry um cars and stuff like that because you are a earth sign and you are about that bread but um i don't know it's like they know they need to like come back different because i see that your life has shifted like you've been able to bring things into fruition that you never thought you could you could have started businesses you could have moved you could have did all kind of stuff and just showed this person like man i'm a totally different person since i left you babe mm -hmm. but yeah i wonder why they saying you got them twisted I know I, I got what you need right here, baby. So what you want to do? <laughs> Hold on. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> yeah, they coming back with this energy. They weighed down. Let me tell you about their indecisiveness. It's the funniest stuff to me, right? So they got the five of wands twice in a ten of wands card. A five of wands upright, a five of wands um, in reverse, right? So they go back and forth with themselves and argue with themselves. Like, is it, <laughs> should I go back? Are they going to sell me back now? Because that last argument we had or that last fight or when they put me out or, you know, I don't know why I'm hearing dreads. But, um, yeah, they go back and forth. They, they fight and argue with them themselves about this situation, you know? But let's see. How's Capricorn feeling about this person? How's Capricorn feeling about this person, please? How's Capricorn feeling about this person, please? Wow, why am I hearing that song? I'm hearing Capricorn free your mind and the rest will follow. Be colorblind. Don't be so shallow. I wear tight clothing, high heel shoes. It doesn't matter. Something. But um, somebody needs to free their mind and, and stop dating the same type of person. Like, open your mind to something new and different. Now, what's going on here, Cap? What's up? The Nine of Swords. So, although you are feeling all of this beautiful energy at night, is when you think about this person and it gets to you. Why do I feel like you want to call this person? I'm hearing that song, Call Me. When you need someone to talk to, someone to F you. Satisfaction guaranteed. I give you what you need. <sighs> Either way, your person has the Four of Pentacles. The Ace of Swords, the King of Cups, the Two of Pentacles, <laughs> the Three of Swords, and Justice. Let's see what you have over here. You have the Moon. The Queen of Wands, the Hermit, the Knight of Wands, the Two of Cups, and the Seven of... You see what I'm saying, um, Capricorn? I, I don't know why sometimes I get in Capricorn energy and call Capricorn Sag. And some of my um, viewers call me out on it. They be like, why do you keep saying... 
uh, Sagittarius and it's Capricorn reading because somebody's dealing with a um, a Sag and their energy be strong because he, look at this Queen of Wands sitting here, you know. But um, where should I start? Let's start with you. So, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> oh my goodness. This change of weather, Lord have mercy. Um, that's not how I was expecting for you to show up in this moon energy, Cap. So, I feel like that's you that's coming out of the woodwork and that moon energy. Why do I feel like this is who you was when you was in that dark place, when you was in that depression, when you were feeling trapped and caged or whatever that energy was? And now this is kind of how you're looking i feel like you have became more beautiful inside and outside because you don't have that level of stress that you once had i feel like also something died some type of you look good on the outside but something inside of you died and i don't know what it is this flower is over there and it's kind of just you know, on the side, looking kind of dead. It ain't standing up straight. I don't know if it's just the way she holding it or what. But something within you died. Like, your life could have been a lot different last year than it looked this year. But it's like, a part of you died and something else awoken within you. And it has something to do with this hermit energy. You could have, this could have been the energy you went into to get to this Queen of Wands energy. But like I said, at night... Oh my goodness. <laughs> Capricorn, I'm hearing that song. Ooh, na 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 na. I'm so horny and I want you to F me. I'm tired of masturbating. Got my body shaking. No more. <laughs> That's what this Knight of Wands energy is with this Two of Cups. At night, it gets rough for you. Like, you, you cool during the day. You walking around looking like the queen of wands. You know, take care of your business. Looking good, smelling good, feeling good. Everything is going good with you. But then at night, you have it hard. And I feel like you get to thinking a whole lot about this, this relationship and what it meant to you and all the things you went through. And should you go back? And should I do this? And I remember this time when we did this. And I remember the sex was this. And, oh, I should call. And, oh, no, I can't call because of this. And, like, I feel like at night, it's just a little rough for you. Like, you try to be... In this energy of empowerment and this energy of the queen of wands but at evening i heard one of them comedians talk about the evening too talking about yeah every uh females always talking about they don't mind being single to the nighttime here <laughs> and i feel like it's one of those energies like it's cool during the day but at night but don't feel bad right because this person try to hold back with all they might i mean with all of they might they they trying their best not to pick up that phone as well give you a call and tell you how much they love you how much they care about you how much they miss you like they go back and forth in their mind on the same stuff it's almost like you guys are mirroring each other because at night they go through the same thing they can't sleep they up they moving around they probably out at the clubs they probably with their boys they trying to do their best if this is masculine energy to keep their mind off of you but whether or not it works i don't know but here's my thing too this person keeps going back and forth but not making no moves to make it right with you they they like sitting on their behind like I don't know if they waiting for you to make a move, you waiting for them to make a move, but somebody here you gotta make a move because you guys are mirroring each other, like you guys miss each other and stuff. I, I just, I don't know. I don't know why no one's making a move here, you know? Let's see. What else does Capricorn need to know about their person? What else does Capricorn need to know about their person? I'm hearing window shopper. Somebody been window shopping for a dress. 
somebody thinking about getting married and they've been window shopping for this person huh all right what does um what else does capricorn need to know about this relationship please what else okay i'm gonna use my other cards out here use the other cards and they want me to use my twin flames preparing for union deck for some reason so your your person must got some beautiful messages for you cat let's see what's up what is um what is uh what does uh capricorn person want capricorn to know i thought it was pretty they was both dressed in white i'm like that looks cute for twin flames you know but um what does capricorn person want capricorn to know I mean, they do love you, though. You are my lady. They've been listening to music, Capricorn. That's what's coming out on these cards. Get everything I need and more. You are my baby. You're all I'm living for. Oh, my goodness. That song's so old. I remember my mama used to play that song. But they feel like you are their lady. Oh, snap. Sade. This is no ordinary love. So they feel like nothing about this love is ordinary. So they've never felt this way before. Share my world. So that's that Mary J. Blige song. Share my world. Don't you leave. Mary J. Blige is like the breakup anthem queen, ain't she? <laughs> But no, she came back finally without a sad song with that good morning, gorgeous. Yeah. Ooh. I pray spirit saves you for me. So they are praying that, like, God don't bring nobody else in your life. That you are reserved for them. Like, they know they got their flaws and they don't messed up and everything. But they, they do not want to um, let you go. My heart is open to you. So this person could have been shut off, acting like, you know, there was all that in a bag of chips. But something about them um, changed. Because I'm done playing games, love. I see why they wanted me to use this deck. This is how your person is feeling. And with this, I'm done playing with uh, games, love. I hear that song. I don't want to be a player no more. I need to found someone I can live my life for. So this person see you as a major part of their life, Capricorn, like a major part. Like when they think of long term, they think of spending it with you, beloved. So either way, Cap, that's the reading I have for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and definitely leave me some comments down below. I would love to hear from my subscribers, see what's kind of on their mind, kind of their vibe, but definitely leave me some comments i'll talk to you soon take care